Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I do want to apologize. We're a little bit behind. Um, it's uh, crazy to say the least. Um, anyways, I wanted to, before we get into your reading cancer, I do want to uh, pull out the shells as I want to uh, go a little bit deeper into your reading as we um, currently or recently experienced the solar eclipse. And now on July the 4th, we're going to be entering the lunar eclipse. So these are major transformative type of energies, energies that not only impact you for the coming months, but for the coming year as well. So we're going to delve into that, see what spirit has to say. Uh, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Spirits, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the month of for the month of July 2020. All right. So we definitely have a lot of uh, cards. Sorry, a lot of shells jumping out. I actually have um, a baby shell that actually jumped out. Give me one second. <clears throat> okay. So. Um, with that being said, for some of you guys, contemplation of children, uh, wanting or thinking of having children or starting your family for others of you, children is going to take a very important role for the coming month. And I do see unexpected pregnancies as well. So for some of you guys, um, not necessarily you yourself, but if you do have, you know, um, children that are you know, consider children, I say children, but a lot of the times when they're speaking to me about children, they're not necessarily ch uh, speaking about younger uh, babies, they're talking about, you know, uh, young adults. So anyways, what they're saying is that there may be an expected surprise, or uh, it could be you finding out that someone in the family that is rather young is coming out pregnant, or it was an accidental pregnancy. Um, I do see them coming towards you for advice or guidance. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be contemplation of adoption or having children. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is the shell that jumped out was a baby shell. And as you can see here, this is a uh, another, you know, smaller shell. Uh, and it is, as you can see here, what, well, obviously you can't see if you don't read the shells, but what they're telling me here is that there is an unexpected uh, creation or birth. Now, for some of you guys, not necessarily pregnancy. For some of you guys, this could be um, birthing a, a new creative outlook, a new creative idea, perhaps that you've been trying to get off the ground uh, in regards to businesses. Sometimes we consider our businesses our babies. Um, so again, they are definitely speaking about birthing a new idea. For some of you guys, it could even be um, changing or being more open to changing your ideas or your perceptions of up until now what you've thought was reality. So for some of you guys, it could be going into spirituality. For others of you, connecting more with the divine. Um, for others of you, it could be uh, getting into some some practice that opens your mind. For some of you guys, it could be yoga, taking on yoga or learning more about yoga. Um, anything that brings, uh, what they're saying is anything that brings peace, inner peace is what they're saying. I apologize. Inner peace is what they're saying. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, I do want to mention, I do see very quick and hasty energy coming towards you for some of you guys. It could be uh, changes uh, in regards to a dynamic, in regards to family. Um, it's almost like it's almost like at some point in your life, you were either seen as like the rebel or you were seen as like the black sheep of the family. And with this uh, lunar eclipse that's happening, there is a lot of conclusions, a lot of endings, but also new beginnings with this. And I feel that the perception of what people have seen 
in you up until now is going to be changing and it's going to be changing for the better. Uh, for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are in the public eye, be very careful, uh, careful about your image or how you present yourself to the world. Um, be tactful or be very conscious about the words that you spread or how you commun communicate with other people, <clears throat> especially because right now, you know, we're all experiencing um, this almost this um, sensitive uh, type of energy where everyone gets offended. So my advice to you is uh, think twice before tweeting or before putting something public out in the open um, when expressing yourself or your emotions. I think that that's going to be very important for the month of July or even going all the way to August. Now, for some of you guys, I do want to mention, I do see the sun highlighting, um, highlighting you. So what I mean by that is you guys keep in mind that we do have currently, uh, we have five different planets in Capricorn. Uh, we have Saturn, we have the moon, we have Pluto, we have Jupiter. Um, and, and what this is doing is that, uh, you know, with the lunar eclipse, it's going to be exalted. So what that means is that the moon is going to be lighting or shining light in that which has been dark or that which has been uh, unbeknown. So it could be like secrets coming out in the open or things about our past coming up. Um, so again, just be mindful of that type of energy. Um, as well as Pluto is all about death and transformation, transmutation. Um, Saturn is all about structure. It's all about have you been putting in the work and reaping what you sow. Uh, Jupiter is a blessing planet, but it, it is de uh, deliberate. Uh, what is it called? Um, deb debilitated because of Saturn um, and because we have Pluto there as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, now, what they're saying here is that uh, for a lot of you guys, um, you guys are the opposite of Capricorn. That's your polar opposite. That's your, you know, your other spectrum. So because all these planets are, you know, um, in the sign of Capricorn, um, everything that has to do or that is connected to that of your finances, uh, that is connected to that of your business, um, all of these energies are going to be playing a very important role for the coming month, or I should say months for you. Um, for some of you guys, this could even represent like changing a pathway, changing a business, jumping from something you've been doing for a very long time to opening yourself up to something new. Uh, a lot of you guys changing different careers or thinking about changing careers. Um, so all of this energy is, as you can see here, it's spread out, but right at the center, uh, we have a major shell, which is speaking to me directly about, um, your image or your persona, how other people perceive you. You may even notice that for this month, a lot of people are being drawn to you or a lot of people are trying to, um, you know, come to you for advice or guidance or even, you know, trying to get to know you for those of you guys that are single out there. So just keep that in mind because that's going to be playing a very important role for you guys for the coming month, okay? All right, my lovely cancers, let's get into your reading all right cancer sun moon rising and venus for the month of july 2020 spirit what are the messages for cancers sun moon rising venus for the month of july 2020 Or sun, moon, rising, Venus, month of July, 2020. Let's see what's coming towards you, Cancer. Okay. All right, your first card is the Queen of Wands. You may be dealing or communicating with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, but not necessarily this could be your energy as well. Keep in mind 
what the shells just spoke about, uh, almost like uh, being more confident in yourself, walking with the strut, that type of energy, like just it, it's it's this energy of feeling like even for those of you guys that have been experiencing like this year has been just chaotic for everyone. I attest to that. <laughs> But what they're saying here is even if you felt at some point like you kind of lost your path or you lost, um, you lost, you know, your, your, your niche or what you thought, uh, you wanted to pursue or you wanted to do. And it's like, you're not that it's almost like, like a feeling of a standstill. And I think that's something everyone's experiencing right now. Um, but what they're saying here is that. Um, this, uh, queen of wands could represent your energy cancer. And it's like feeling more ignited, feeling more passionate or having the need and want to be more passionate about what you're doing. I see this more of like dealing with everyday type of energy and it's like, you're just over it. Um, but again, like I said, I do see you going into the month of July, being a little bit more inspired, being a little bit more. Uh, and I think these changes are going to be coming about right after you experience the lunar eclipse. Now, you also do have here the uh, the hermit card with the shadow side, uh, which is a, a representation of the devil, um, which is out of Saturn energy. So I feel that for quite a while, some of you guys have been feeling like introverts or not really communicating, not really wanting to be so social. Uh, and I think that that's quickly going to be lifting uh, that energy or that, you know, like uh, those, you know, gray clouds, you know, hanging over you are going to be dissipating and you're going to be able to see the sun again, feeling more like yourself, feeling more attuned. You also do have uh, the emperor card here next to the wheel of the year. So again, keep in mind career changes, anything that is going to set off a new path for you and for some of you guys this could even come accidental so what i mean by that is it could be that you know just one day you decide um i don't know you decide to just you know take a walk in the park with your dog or something and um you you know bump into someone you guys start communication and then all of a sudden uh, you find out you guys have commonalities or you guys have things in common and you guys are really passionate about a cause or something and it's like boom it's gonna hit you and you're like okay I can stand for this or I am excited about this or even a career something that they're doing that you never thought you would do but then it interests you that type of energy and again they're talking about uh, it's almost coming as an accident but really it's not um, what they're saying is because of the planet alignments, again, it's pushing out everything that has not been consistent in your life or that just hasn't been working out. Um, I do see you guys as taking, uh, for some of you guys, even it's like this, this type of energy that you guys keep experiencing, especially for those in relationships where you feel like you have to sacrifice something in order to get something in return, whether it be to be loved, whether it be to have them stand by your side, that type of energy. And what they're telling you here is you need to stop doing that cancer. Um, stop taking those people that are genuinely there for you. Stop taking them for granted and stop doing for others that mistreat you and genuinely take you for granted. Uh, so it's almost like it, you need to step back and really analyze. You can't go about life blaming other people for the choices you've made. And what they're telling you here is you need to stop sacrificing yourself. You need to make yourself a priority for this month. And it's going to be very important, not only with your energy, but the people you surround yourself with as well. Now, I do see major momentum, like I said, in regards to your finances. But what they're saying here is that um, again, we go back to that of the people that are around you or people that are, you know, that you're entrusting, uh, what they're telling you is don't go based off of face value or don't go off of what they're telling you. Yes, I can promise you the world. It doesn't mean I'm going to give it to you. So it's time for you to grow out of, you know, um, that fantasy or that, you know, hope. Um, and it's time to start, you know, grounding yourself and seeing things for what they really are, especially those of you guys that, are dealing or have been dealing with, uh, you know, people stepping out of the relationship with you or cheating on you 
or anything like that. And don't be surprised if people start coming knocking on your door, people from your past, and they're wanting to prove to you that they've matured. What they're telling you here is discard that energy because this, all of this, this type of energy here, um, being hurt, continuously wanting to put effort towards something that, or someone that comes and goes, uh, when you're hoping and desiring for stability, they're only bringing you torment. They're only bringing you um, the feeling of having lack of stability. And with the Three of Swords, for some of you guys, I feel that this is a person that has let you down on multiple occasions. It's time to shed that out, Cancer. All right. All right. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. The direct message from Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of July, 2020. Cancer. Okay. All right. Your first card here is Adjustments Are Required third quarter moon. It's funny. I think I've seen this card come out to three different signs. Um, adjustments, changes, taking different approaches, no longer following a path or a pattern that you've done in your past that has directly affected how you view relationships. And I'm not speaking just about relationships when it comes to love and romance. Relationships uh, sorry, partnerships could represent, you know, partnerships in business, people that you rely on or that you're expecting that they're going to step up and do what they're supposed to do. And then it turns out that they didn't, that they were solely relying on your work ethic. Um, so again, you have to take a different approach in order to be able to get the results you're wanting as well as stop sacrificing your happiness or stop sacrificing yourself, Cancer to be able to meet someone halfway. Because if you're sacrificing something along the way, then you're not meeting them halfway. You're probably meeting them right at the freaking corner and all they have to do is take one step. Tell me how that is fair. All right, your next card here is you're very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous Moon, see? Change the way you approach situations or what you've been doing up until now when it comes to partnerships, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to business, when it comes to the way you make money. You have to snap out of that. Uh, you know, with the, with the lunar eclipse, everything is going to be exalted, meaning whatever it is that we're lacking is going to come to surface because we need to pay attention to that. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Continue pushing through and like I said, um, stop sacrificing yourself, you know, put yourself um, focus, you know, tunnel vision on what you're trying to achieve and you will achieve it. Okay. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share and comment and we will see each other soon. Blessings and happy lunar eclipse.